Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to church, St. Paul Lutheran. So good to be gathered together as always. We're going to begin our worship service with a hymn. It's number 661 in your red hymnals in front of you. Or cranberry, as some people call it. So you can go ahead and grab your hymnal out. It's I love to tell the story. Please help in leading the music. Everybody, I want to hear you singing. So that being, let's stand up and sing together for this one so we can hear you all singing beautifully. Gorgeous voices out here. Thank you, Kathleen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who creates, redeems, and sustains us 
and all of creation. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. To you, O God, all hearts are open, to you all desires known. We come to you confessing our sins. Forgive us in your mercy and remember us in your love. Show us your ways, teach us your paths, and lead us in the justice and truth. For the sake of your goodness, in Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. By water and the Holy Spirit, God gives you a new birth. And through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God forgives you all your sins. The God of mercy and might strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Amen. We invite our young ones to go forth to Sunday school. <clears throat> yeah, we're going directly to Sunday school so that you can come back and join us for communion at the end of service. Now we're going to sing the song, God of the Poor. It's found in your bulletin. So the words are in your bulletins. We have sung this before. So you, we've sung it many times, many, many times. <laughs> So, again, please help with the singing.
Now let us prepare our hearts for a reading of scripture. Good morning. Our first scripture reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads in every place the fragrance that comes from knowing him. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved, among those who are perishing, to the one a fragrance from death to death, to the other a fragrance from life to life. Who is sufficient for these things? For we are not peddlers of God's work like so many, but in Christ we speak as persons in sincerity, as persons sent from God and standing in his presence. The word of the Lord. Our second scripture reading is from the book of Luke, chapter 24, verses 44 through 48. Then he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The word of the Lord. The third reading I'm doing for you this morning is from Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 to 14. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become slaves to one another, for the whole law is summed up in a single commandment, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The word of the Lord. Our fourth scripture reading comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lamp stand, and it, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The word of the Lord. Happy Sunday morning. I'm Debbie Otto with Salvation News. We're coming to you live from our studio on beautiful sunny hills of Fullerton, California. Today we're talking about service to our community. I'm excited to share with you some of the amazing stories of people and whole communities coming together to help our neighbors. All the way in Liverpool, England, we've learned of a story of a young man recording a homeless musician, making him go viral on TikTok. Subsequently, a GoFundMe page was set up to him, for him to help him find a place to live. And meanwhile, in Toledo, Ohio, identical twin sisters, Marilyn Wright and Madeline Casper, celebrated their 102nd birthday together. And their message to everyone is this, 
be kind to your neighbor. In other news, we received word that the co-workers for a young man who had been walking miles back and forth to his employment got together and raised money to buy him his first car, bringing joy and some much needed assistance for his daily commute. All right, now on to more local news. I have a word that we are ready to head we are ready to head our very own David Luke John Paul, who is live from downtown Fullerton. David Luke John Paul, we're over to you. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing those wonderful news stories from around the world. It's so good to hear people serving in their neighborhoods and in their countries. And we have some more awesome news for you right now. I am at the Love Fullerton event, which is happening in our very own Fullerton, obviously. And I'm here with some of the youth from St. Paul Lutheran Church. They're bringing some much needed, needed love to their neighbors right here in Fullerton, cleaning up and serving and more. I'm here with Kayla Vining, a local student at Cal State Fullerton. How you doing, Kayla? I'm doing great, David Luke, John Paul. Hi, Mom and Dad, look, I'm on TV. That you are. Now tell me, what are you guys doing down here? Well, we've been picking up trash on the streets of downtown, and some of our groups have been on the local trail making sure it is all cleaned up as well. I know that there are groups down doing all sorts of things all around the city, gardening, cleaning up properties for elderly folks, um, helping schools, and all kinds of stuff. So what makes you want to be involved in the community like this? I just think I, I have been given such so much in my life by God, my family, and my community. And I think it's, it is important to give back to others and share the love, dude. Plus, you know I grew up here in Fullerton. I go to school here. I just love it. Woo! Well, I'm loving that passion and loving the youth coming out here to help our neighbors. Now I'm here with Christian Bakken, local member at St. Paul Lutheran Church and the former community minister of the church council. Nice to see you, Christian. Thank you, David. Luke John Paul. You know, I want to start by saying I love your interview last week with interim pastor Perla. Um, for those of you who missed it, go on St. Paul Lutheran's uh, website on uh, facebook.com. Take a look. Um, it was really good about the spiritual uh, disciples, uh, disciplines. <laughs> it reminds us of how much we need to do personally and in our community. And one of the most important ones for me is service. Yes, I see that you are passionate about serving the community. And I know St. Paul is involved in multiple agencies here in Orange County, OC United, Crittenden, and Pathways of Hope, among others. Yeah, I'm still learning about some of those, but, you know, service is a big part of the life in our congregation. I mean, just listen to our mission statement. Striving to mirror Christ in word and action by reaching out to serve others. It's ingrained right in the fabric of who we are in our church community. Well, it's great to see you and the youth out here making a difference. Now, word in the pews is that you might be on the ballot again come this November 10th to return to your position of community minister. Do you have anything you want to say about that? Wow, word, word travels fast. <laughs> I, I do want to start by thanking Jackie Nolan for her four years of service. Uh, definitely big shoes to fill, but uh, we'll just have to. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. A good politician's answer right there. Well, folks, that's it for me down here in Fullerton. They're going to run it back to the studio with Debbie Otto. But first, remember to stay blessed. Thanks, David, Luke, John, Paul, and everyone out there. Well, that wraps things up for us in Salvation News. Stay tuned for our next programming called Birth of a Salesman after a quick break to sing some praise to God. Bye for now. All right. <laughs> We're going to sing a quick song together. It's Here I Am, Lord, and it's hymn number 574. Yeah. 
Well, it looks like it's gonna be a scorcher today. Big Pearl of P's the name, selling the game. What's your handle, Mac? Tom. Well, hi there, Tom, old man. Glad to meet you. <laughs> Got the kids and the missus tucked away somewhere, or did you get away? No, I'm here all alone. Alone with no one but Pearl of P to talk to. Tom, old buddy, this could be your lucky day. <sighs> what game you in, Tommy? Sales. Sales, you too? Say, that's amazing. You and me are exactly alike. You know, this makes us like brother and sister. Thanks. Say, tell me about yourself. Old Perla P wants to know about her new brother. You know, I've been in the sales game for years myself. Sold widgets in Chicago, beans in Boston. Why, I even went up to Alaska and took a shot at selling polar bear insurance to Eskimos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so what's the angle? What's the scam? What's the pitch? No pitch. No pitch? Ah, you don't fool me, Tommy boy. I bet you're the best. You know, I was outstanding. I was an outstanding sales rep in my district last year. Sold more units than everyone else. <laughs> How about you? I didn't really keep count. They do that at the home office. A salesman that doesn't keep count? That just doesn't happen. Come on, what's the total? 312. 312 last year? Boy, that's great. No, 312 last month. 312 sales last month? Incredible. You must be the best salesman alive. It's the product. It kind of sells itself. Mm, now we're getting somewhere. What's the product? What do you sell? Eternal life. Eternal life? You can't sell that. You're right. Actually, we give it away. Come on, Tommy, old man. Stop kidding me. Who do you work for? The oldest company in existence. But who do you work for? Who do you answer to directly? Oh, that's easy. I work directly for the old man himself. Really? The top guy? The very top. How high up is he? Oh, about as high up as you can get. How often do you meet with him? You know, we keep in almost constant communication. I already talked to him three times today. Wow, I wish I had that much interaction with my supervisor. What kind of things do you talk about? Everything. A lot of times we talk about the people I meet. Pigeons, huh? No, more like potential sales. Hmm. Pardon me for asking this, Tommy, old boy. But do you like the sales business? Who, me? No, I hate it. It makes me nervous talking to people. Then why do you do it? I have no choice. Why? What are you talking about? Well, you see, before I used to be an auto mechanic, and I really liked that. I still do auto mechanic work, but since I became a sales rep, I've found that doing that mostly. So what is it that you sell? Forgiveness. Okay, first you said eternal life, and then you're saying forgiveness? Yep, we deal in both. All right, I'll bite. How much do they cost? They're free. Free? Shh, you want to start a riot? Sorry, free? Are you out of your mind? You can't sell stuff like that for free. You could destroy the stock market. I can't help it. It's company policy and I don't make the rules. So who's your target audience? Who gets all the free offers? The rich and famous? Now they're offered to everyone for free. Standard operating procedure. So what's the catch? Pardon? The catch, the angle, the scam. What's up with this? There's no catch. So are you trying to tell me that anyone can have forgiveness and eternal life for free? Yep. Time limit? There's a time limit, am I right? 
You get them to bite on the free offer and then sell them something else because time has run out. The offer is good as long as you live on earth. Well, what if you die? Then <laughs> time's up. So how can we be sure this offer is legitimate? It's a guaranteed offer. So it's free and it's on the level and it's guaranteed and it's eternal life and forgiveness. That's about the size of it. Well, who wouldn't want that? Yep. I mean, that's great. Living forever and forgiveness is free. Yep, it's too good to pass up. Hurry, take advantage of this free offer today. So what do I have to do to get this? Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Believe in him and you shall be saved. Jesus? The old man's one and only son. For real? For real. What is it I have to believe? Believe Jesus is the son of God, that God raised him from the dead after he died for our sins on the cross. Oh yeah, I heard all that in Sunday school a few decades ago. It always has been true. Well, I think I've heard all the stories. Good. Then all that's left for you to do is repent of your sins and to ask Jesus to enter your life because you trust on him as your savior. Will you pray with me? Of course. It's always a pleasure to talk to the home office. Dear God, I've done a lot of bad things in my life. Let's talk turkey. I've made some sales calls that I shouldn't have made and I've closed some deals that weren't on the square. I ask you for forgiveness, and I thank you for Jesus, who is your son. He came here and he died on the cross for my sins, and I thank you for accepting his payment on my account. I sure can't pay it myself. Amen. Amen. Nicely done, congratulations. I feel strangely relieved, like something has changed. Something has changed. You have just been born again. Now you have forgiveness and eternal life, just as promised. And guess what? Now you're a real salesperson. Congratulations. Hi there, ma'am. Parla P's the name, selling the game. Do you think that I could interest you in eternal life? Let me tell you about our special offer on forgiveness. Good for the day you die. All right, let's join together singing our next hymn. Please stand on your feet, everybody. We're going to sing Christ Be Our Light. It is hymn number 715. Oh, 
Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to be seated or kneel as you are able for the prayers. Drawn together in the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray with confidence for the church, God's good creation, and all who are in need. We pray for the people of God in all places. Shape our witness to the good news of Jesus that we joyfully share your transforming love with all whom we encounter. Hear us, O God. We pray for the healing of the earth. Renew oceans and seas, marshes and estuaries. Uphold the work of all who care for fragile ecosystems and habitats. Hear us, O God. We pray for peace and cooperation among local and global communities. Bless the efforts of all whose work for justice and peace around the world. Hear us, O God. We pray for all who are in need. To all who grieve, bring consolation. To all who are weary or lonely, bring solace. By your grace, make your presence known among all who call to you for healing. Hear us, O God. We pray for caregivers, doctors and nurses, home health aides and counselors, and those who care for loved ones. Sustain them in their work and help us to build a health care system that supports all. Hear us, O oh God. We give thanks for the saints who now rest in your eternal presence. In thanksgiving for their lives of faithful service and witness, we commend them to your loving care. Hear us, O oh God. We entrust these and all our prayers to you, holy God, in the name of your beloved Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let us stand and share a sign of peace with one another.
I invite you to take your seats. Our next hymn is hymn 679. Gracious God, you bless us with the gifts of guidance, new life, growth in grace, and fruitful labor. Accept the first fruits of time and toil. Field and orchard we offer here. Bless and multiply these gifts to our nurture and care and the care of your creation. For the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please stand as you are able. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join in their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks, and he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And gathered together by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. We invite you to follow the instructions of your ushers to come and receive communion by means of intinction. There is grape juice in this chalice here. The table is ready and all are welcome.
Let us pray. We give you thanks, almighty God, that you have refreshed us with the healing power of this gift of life. In your mercy, strengthen us through this gift in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, we want to share with you some announcements. Of course, this morning, lots of stuff coming up. I believe today is the last day you can write a check for the Look Who's Dancing. Is that correct, Jackie? Yes. And make it out to Pathways of Hope. Um, get that turned into the last day. Um, sick it, tickets are sold out for the uh, Look Who's Dancing show, but we look forward to that next Saturday, October 5th. We're going to be uh, cheering on Sarah Tees, very right there in the back. Okay, uh, and they talk to you then for that? Okay, talk to Jackie Nolan. There's only two tickets left. Do I hear 55? Do I hear 60? <laughs> 75, sold to Nick Preston in the back, 75, no, all right. <laughs> Just kidding, there's still two tickets there, $50 each. All right, um, next week we have a joint worship service. We're gonna be joining with the Good Village Church, bilingual in English and Korean, but remember the service starts at 10 a.m., 10 a.m., so you get 30 extra minutes of sleepy time. I know my children will be happy about that. So, 30 extra minutes come at 10 a.m. Stay, we're gonna be having Korean barbecue afterwards. And if you're able, please bring a dessert. Uh, we're gonna share some desserts after the, after the lunch together. So bring a dessert to share. Um, and if you can help um, with serving the food, they also invited, we can share our duties together. So responsible, they, they'll, they'll um, serve and we'll serve all together in the row, yes. Thank you so much. All right, so please uh, think about that and joining in should be a beautiful worship service together. Nomination forms, there should be nomination forms in your bulletin or they might have been handed to you. We will be electing a new council on November 10th. And so please, if you would like to nominate yourself, you can do that. And you can also nominate Christian Bakken for community minister. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if he'll say yes or not, but we can certainly nominate him. If you are interested in council, but you want to know more about it, please talk to Tom Pankow or myself, and we can tell you what all it entails. Um, it's actually a really fun group, and the meetings don't go crazy long, so we actually have a good time together. Please consider there's four openings, actually, this year, so we need more leadership to step up for that. On November 10th, we're also going to be welcoming new members. It's our new member welcome day. That means you get welcome that day, and then you get to stay for the meeting, and you get to vote in the annual meeting. If you are not already set up to be welcomed in, please talk to me or write it down on one of the sheets that were in your bulletin with information that says you would like to join, and I will reach out to you, okay? So please, yes, another hand in the back. Okay, very nice. So we are a little short this year for Operation Christmas Child, which is coming up in November. So make sure you, there's a tree in the back there. You can grab something to donate. Or Jackie says, just go to Amazon, put Operation Christmas Child, and it'll give you all kinds of options as well to donate. So please do that so we can have enough uh, goodies to put in those shoe boxes in November. On the 13th of October, we're having a free flu shot clinic right here at the church from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. There is a sign-up sheet on your way out. You can get your shot. Make sure you mark if you are 65 or over. There are different shots for that. I know you may feel like you're 50, but it is a different shot if you're over 65. Not No laughs about Everybody's like, no. I don't want to hear that. Okay, anyways, bad joke with this crowd. What's going on here? All right. 
And moving on, moving on, Bible study is starting up this Wednesday, seven-week Bible study. You can join us in the Splat Center or on Zoom. It's each Wednesday, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. It is about the spiritual realm from a biblical perspective. So come and join us this coming Wednesday or let me know and sign up and I'll get you that Zoom link as well. Um, October 19th, we're having a blessing of the animals. Service will start at 9 a.m., followed by individual blessings for all the animals that are there in attendance. Any other announcements? Good of the people. Yes. All right, don't forget Sarah Circle tomorrow night, 6.30 at the house of Barb Jennings. All right, if you're interested or if you're a longtime member, please join. Yes? Uh, yes, uh, so there probably are two announcements in there. That one might just might not have got changed. Um, so yes, it's not at 9.30, it is at 10 a.m. It is October 6th, next Sunday, right? Am I Okay, October 6th, next Sunday, 10 a.m. All right, I think that's a lot of announcements. You got a lot of stuff to mold over. And so let's, let's stand and receive a blessing together. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. And we're going to sing this little light of mine. You might need your hymnals. If you do, it is number 677. This little light of mine. All right. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Who gave it to you, Henry? Let it shine. Let it shine. 